Well Played is about showcasing the challenges and the solutions for people with disability to take part in sport. And it's been such a thrill to listen to and provide a voice to the actual people that are at the centre of this issue, that's people with a disability in sport. I think it's so important for clubs and sports institutes to fully include para-athletes as well as able-bodied athletes. I guess it's not until you have a disability that you realise that, you know, people with disabilities are no different. Perhaps the biggest indicator of how far we have to go is that 60% of people that we survey said that their club would have no idea how to actively engage people with disability. Before Duff I never had anyone like that I knew with any sort of disability really. Um, I rolled up here and a bloke come rolling up in a chair and going okay what's going on here and then introduced himself and off we went basically so just the, yeah, the awareness that he bring to just everything in life basically and it just when you know someone with a disability it opens it up it opens up your eyes and, and you, you see what it is and you take everyone differently then basically. That's got to be the attitude of any club that you're looking at what can the person bring not can they walk. What we've discovered is some of the challenges that people with disability face in playing sport is there's limited opportunity to get involved and play the sport they want in a location that's convenient. So the more clubs that get involved and offer programs or spots for people with disability to play in their mainstream teams, the better. I think it's really important for clubs to give the opportunity for anyone with a disability to play a sport. That's meant a lot for me because I just put myself out there to a few teams and the Happy Valley Vikings are the first ones to respond. That really boosts my confidence because they just allow me to play my game. So I think one of the, the great things about the video campaign is it really shows that sport is an opportunity for everybody and that it is ordinary life, it's not an option. You know, in, in, you know having people with disability in your sport um, is not, shouldn't be an option or an other. It should really be, hey, this is somebody who wants to play sport and let's get them involved. Okay, you're a woman, you play sport. If you're hearing a pet, you'll play sport. If you, if you love the sport, welcome to the club, you know, that's it. You should be able to feel comfortable at any club and to be able to feel happy and included. Clubs and state sporting organisations shouldn't be afraid and shouldn't think they have to reinvent the wheel. There's lots of great programs and competitions that are actually working. You know, let's share that information. Let's get together and go, hey, what works? How can we adapt that to our sport, you know, or to our club? And that's our next step. We're putting together an online hub with all this information together that both clubs and individuals can draw from to get the information that they need to stop thinking they have to reinvent the wheel and just get more people playing sport. The, probably the, the biggest thing I learned is that it's not that different. Everything that I've done at state league level, managing them, coaching them, I'm doing the exact same thing with the wheelchair. So if clubs have an idea about what they actually want to do, the first step is to contact your state sporting organisation or, or contact us. We can help you out and we can certainly point you on the, in the right direction. Tonight we are hosting the first ever blind and low vision tennis tournament uh, for the country. You know, now that Cricket Australia come on board to have that inclusion competition with everything else, it's been fantastic. It makes me feel happy that I get to spend some time with, with, with Ali and our players. I showed them if some, some of my step overs and oof, did some good passing. And My favourite thing was uh, dribbling. Um, dribbling past the uh, coach and going back and passing the ball to my brother. Things have changed. We're such an accepting society and evidence of that is that under 15 Salisbury United Football um, Club. I mean, what an amazing bunch of gentlemen are talking about inclusion on a broader spectrum from, you know, disability all across all different sort of marginalised groups. So, I mean, the future's looking good. It's actually really important because, um, like, having him on the team and, like, he has a disability, it's like, it represents who we are as a club and a team, like, it's everyone's equal here. It doesn't matter if you're, say, gay or lesbian or you've got a disability or a different culture. It doesn't matter at this club, you're just one of us. And um, that's what everyone in the world should start doing.